Since its debut in 2017, the Tesla Semi has deeply divided the heavy-duty transportation industry. When Elon Musk officially announced that the Tesla Semi would go into mass production by the end of 2025 and ramp up in 2026, only for Bill Gates to respond that it could never fully replace diesel trucks, voicing a slew of doubts about its feasibility, battery weight, driving range, and charging infrastructure. Indeed, while specs and charging times always matter, the real test for any new heavy-duty vehicle like the Tesla Semi is how it's received by professionals who spend countless hours behind the wheel, because they're the ones who truly understand the hardships and hidden challenges truck drivers face every single day. Recently, the verdict from a veteran driver at U.S. transportation giant Saya, after testing the Tesla Semi on complex urban routes, handling pickups and deliveries with dozens of stops each day, has shed light on all the doubts we've had about the Tesla Semi in recent times. So, how does the Tesla Semi actually perform? And can it truly meet the harsh demands of the job, or is it just an idea on paper? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Stay with me. In just one minute, you'll see never-before-seen footage of the Tesla Model Semi testing. And join over 258,386 Tesla fans who get updates here before the media does. Subscribe today. Right now, the Tesla Semi is facing major challenges in winning over customers. As to date, there are only just over 300 units in operation. Some Gen 1 models used internally at Tesla's own factories, and a small number of Gen 2 units being tested in real-world conditions by heavyweights like PepsiCo and Walmart. That's right. According to our latest survey, as many as 42% of respondents believe the Tesla Semi is the most difficult vehicle Tesla has ever tried to produce, let alone mass-produce and bring to market. Even so, alongside all the debates and skepticism, Tesla continues to push forward, actively testing the Semi in real-world conditions and preparing for mass production by the end of this year. The newly redesigned Gen 2 version features a more spacious cabin, larger windows, and an available sleeper option, promising improved performance and drivability. Most importantly, the FSD system is ready, positioning these trucks to become the first fully autonomous models capable of operating with 100% driverless mode. We know that implementing full FSD on heavy-duty trucks could spark major controversy over safety and real-world usability. But many customers may welcome it as an innovation that could make the truck driving profession significantly easier. With your real-world experience, Driving heavy-duty trucks? Would you want a Tesla Semi running on 100% FSD? Let me know below. We're reading them all. Of course, we'll cover the detailed delivery schedule and Tesla Semi's latest plans in part two of this episode. But first, let's see if it truly lives up to our expectations through the real-world testing done by a Saya driver. This latest test was far more challenging. Not a quiet highway run, nor a downhill haul with empty containers like Pepsi or Walmart. The volunteer driver was Tom Sturba, who works for Saya, a nationwide less-than-truckload LTL carrier with a fleet of over 7,000 trucks. Tom tested the Tesla. Semi, on congested urban routes, making 10 to 15 stops per day, facing everything from gridlocked traffic to navigating tight loading docks. This was real, demanding work designed to push the truck's durability, maneuverability, and ease of use to the limit. After several days behind the wheel, Tom was completely convinced by the Tesla Semi's design and performance. One of the biggest highlights was the real-world power of its electric motors. Compared to internal combustion engines, the electric drivetrain runs more smoothly and delivers stronger pulling power for most tasks, especially hauling loads. Most impressive was its ability to accelerate quickly from a red light without any lag. It could ease forward at the green and keep accelerating without falling behind surrounding traffic, a huge advantage in the LTL environment, where tractor trailers often struggle through city congestion to make deliveries on time. Powerful as it is, the Semi is also remarkably agile. Contrary to the image of massive machines that are hard to maneuver, the Tesla Semi offers surprising handling. Honestly, this was one of the biggest surprises. Its urban driving performance is outstanding. With maneuverability, that's nothing short of impressive and a tighter turning radius than traditional two-axle trucks. Tractor trailers are massive machines, measuring meters in length and width with turning radiuses often measured in yards rather than feet. But the Tesla Semi is different. 
its turning radius is much tighter, and thanks to improved maneuverability, driving becomes far easier. Whether you're making a turn at a busy city intersection or backing a trailer into a cramped loading dock, this makes navigating crowded intersections or reversing into tight loading bays far less stressful, a huge plus for drivers in day-to-day -day operations. At first, Tom said he was surprised and admitted it took him a little time to get used to having not just one, but two screens. However, he quickly became hooked, especially with the Semi's integrated navigation system and the impressive clarity of its cameras. These experiences have changed the way Tom views electric trucks. He shared that he prefers driving the Tesla Semi over a gas-powered truck, and even hopes it will be the vehicle he finishes his career with. This positive assessment reflects not just his personal experience, but also the results of a comprehensive SIA test designed to run the semi under the toughest conditions to fully understand its capabilities and limits. Recent real-world testing has shown that the Tesla semi can achieve a range of over 800 kilometers and charge from 5% to 80% in just about 45 minutes. In LTL operations, drivers only need to charge once a week, and the electric motors require no routine maintenance, a significant advantage in the trucking industry, where LTL accounts for 5 to 15% of annual revenue. As Tesla moves from testing to mass production, support from real drivers like Tom stands as the strongest proof of the Tesla Semi's real-world capability. It's not just a truck with impressive specs. It delivers an outstanding driving experience for those behind the wheel every day. As promised, let's move on to what is the production and release schedule of the Tesla Semi? Mass production is on the horizon, and based on recent images, the upcoming 2.0 version will feature a refreshed design. While the Tesla Semi has technically been in production for years, the current trucks are still prototype units. The new 2.0 model will be the true mass production version, incorporating changes drawn from everything Tesla has learned through real-world testing. One of the main reasons for the long wait has been Tesla's need to collect operational data from customers like PepsiCo before locking in the final design. This testing stage hasn't just helped Tesla refine the truck. It's also been vital for proving how it performs under real-world conditions. Only after gathering enough data will Tesla commit to full-scale manufacturing, because nobody wants to roll out a truck that isn't bulletproof, right? Now, with the Tesla semi-production facility at the Nevada Gigafactory nearly ready, and large-scale testing with major logistics companies wrapping up, Tesla has started sharing key updates that set the Semi apart from its original prototype. Recently spotted images reveal clear refinements to the Tesla Semi's front fascia, bumper, and overall body contours compared to the current version. Across the U.S., updated Semi prototypes have been photographed, and while the units seen in various states appear to be the same new generation, Subtle design differences can be picked out on closer inspection. Alongside the addition of a Model Y-style LED light bar, the Gen 2 Semi now features a larger windshield and the long-anticipated sleeper cab option, both of which were missing from the original prototype but are now fully incorporated into the latest builds. While the original day cab served as the program's flagship, one recently cited shrink-wrapped truck could be one of several upcoming configurations. This particular unit is believed to include a sleeper cab, purpose-built for long-haul transport. Extended windows and a sleeper compartment are among the most notable changes. Window glass now spans about 70% of the rear section behind the driver's seat. This strongly suggests that Tesla has reworked the space into a sleeper area, something the company had hinted at in the past. In the latest side-view shots, you can clearly see a black module mounted above the secondary cabin, the sleeper area, a space that was once completely empty. For long-haul truckers, a proper sleeping setup is essential, and Tesla now appears ready to provide exactly that. Tesla also seems to be planning multiple semi-configurations, including both high-roof and low-roof models. The high-roof version is designed to allow air to flow smoothly over standard cargo containers, while the low-roof variant reduces frontal surface area for better aerodynamics when pulling lower-profile loads. Recent spy shots also suggest that the cabin roof length has been cut visually by about 50% compared to earlier builds. In Tesla's official photos, this roof section stretched the full length of the cabin, something that's clearly been shortened in the latest design. The cabin height has also been noticeably lowered, 
though this might have been part of Tesla's testing plan from the start. The tweak seems aimed at striking the ideal balance between interior practicality and reduced aerodynamic drag. Another fresh addition is an electrical junction box now integrated into the cabin's side panel, replacing an area that was previously empty. This change not only sharpens the truck's appearance but also makes better use of available space. That said, it might be premature to get too excited. With Tesla's current resource limitations, some of the biggest upgrades in this refreshed model may debut in small numbers at first. The most important enhancements in this release center on next-gen battery technology, streamlined manufacturing, and core systems to enable future full self-driving capability. Still, the long wait to see Tesla semis become a regular sight on southern U.S. highways may finally be over. Indications strongly suggest that mass production has already begun quietly behind the scenes. According to Dan Priestley, the Gen 2 model will introduce new drop glass windows to make yard and port operations much easier, along with Tesla's new HP battery pack. A unit that's cheaper to produce, has a lower raw capacity, yet delivers over 7% greater efficiency than the pilot version. The Semi will now be offered in two range options, 500 miles and 300 miles. Both will feature redesigned side mirrors and drop-down windows to improve driver visibility and simplify interactions with external systems, such as terminal kiosks at shipping ports. In the past, transport companies had to pay a premium for the standard 500-mile version, even if their routes were short, like urban deliveries or regional runs. That extra cost was a heavy burden for many small and mid-sized operators, especially when they couldn't take full advantage of the truck's extended range. With Tesla's updated configurations, the Semi can now be matched to the specific needs of each operation. Entry models with 250 to 300 miles of range are now available, ideal for shorter hauls, allowing businesses to skip paying for unnecessary features while still enjoying the key benefits that make the Tesla Semi attractive. Low running costs, strong performance, and an eco-friendly footprint. Even these base versions keep Tesla's trademark qualities, robust electric motors, quick acceleration, and an aerodynamic shape that boosts efficiency. By trimming high-cost extras like maximum range and advanced driver assistance, Tesla has lowered the entry price, making electric trucking more attainable and realistic for a broader range of fleets. How well does the Tesla Semi's performance justify the $170,000 price? The Semi has always made waves with its beast-like power, but Tesla clearly isn't stopping there. Out of all Tesla's electric models, if there's one that truly pushes the boundaries of physics, it's the Semi. Normally, a Semi truck with a gross vehicle weight of up to 80,000 pounds would be expected to perform sluggishly, which is exactly why electric trucks have long faced skepticism from industry experts. The Tesla Semi is engineered so radically that it has the potential to convince truck drivers to stay in the profession at a time when the U.S. is dealing with a worsening driver shortage. For the first time ever, an electric truck can travel up to 800 miles on a single run when unloaded, while saving as much as 1 million gallons of diesel, roughly $3.5 million in operating costs. That's why Elon Musk has often called the Semi a money-making machine. From what we know, the Tesla Semi has so far been delivered to at least seven major transport companies, including PepsiCo, DHL, Martin Brower, Costco, Saya, Walmart, and Wadi V. Most recently, ABF Freight, a division of ArcBest, wrapped up its own Semi trial with impressive results. The findings showed that the Semi is fully capable of handling real-world trucking operations. According to reports, ABF Freight successfully completed a three-week test program putting the semi through highway transport applications. They released the results after covering nearly 4,500 miles with the electric truck. Their report stated, over a three-week period, ABF operated a Tesla semi on standard scheduled lanes, including over-the-road routes between service centers in Reno, Nevada, and Sacramento, California. The trial also included regional trips in the Bay Area and rail shuttle operations. The electric semi traveled 4,494 miles in total, averaging 321 miles per day with an overall energy efficiency of 1.55 kilowatt hour per mile. The results from this latest trial highlight some major advancements. First, with nearly 4,500 miles logged and an average of 321 miles per day, 
the Tesla Semi proves it's not only well-suited for regional routes, but also capable of performing efficiently on long-haul runs. This is especially significant because, among all electric trucks currently in operation worldwide, the Tesla Semi is virtually the only one that can handle true long-distance transport. Thanks to its ability to travel up to 500 miles on a single charge. At present, no other electric truck on the market can match that. That's why we can confidently say the Tesla Semi is the only electric truck currently viable for long-haul freight needs. At the 2023 Run On Less event, manufacturers like Tesla, Freightliner, and Volvo showcased their electric truck models side by side. Real-world testing has shown that a single Tesla Semi can cover up to 1,076 miles in a single day. By comparison, PepsiCo's fleet of Semis has averaged 613 miles per day, while OK Produce's Freightliner eCascadia fleet managed just 204 miles per day. The performance gap is striking. PepsiCo's semis collectively logged over 27,000 miles, whereas the second-place fleet running Volvo VNR trucks covered only about 5,200 miles. This disparity clearly demonstrates that the Tesla Semi leads not just in range, but also in real-world operational efficiency. As noted earlier, the Semi can reach close to 800 miles when unloaded and 500 miles at a full gross vehicle weight of 80,000 pounds. This capability comes from its large 850 kilowatt hour battery pack. With the 1.55 kilowatt hour per mile efficiency recorded by ABF, the Semi can easily complete a 321 mile trip on a single charge and still have enough battery left to travel at least another 220 miles. An efficiency of 1.55 kilowatt hour per mile is an impressive figure. Notably, better than the 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile average seen in previous trials from other companies. And it doesn't stop there. ABF Freight's report also stated the truck performed well across a variety of Riewis, including a 7,200 meter climb over Donner Pass, and overall matched the performance of diesel powered trucks. Driver feedback was overwhelmingly positive with operators noting the vehicle's comfort, safety, and ease of use. Features like the center seating position, wide visibility, and intuitive controls all contributed to an excellent driving experience. Elon Musk has repeatedly highlighted the Semi's acceleration capabilities since its debut. Steep and sustained grades pose no problem for this Class 8 electric truck, even at full load. As Musk put it, the best diesel trucks can only manage about 45 miles per hour, on a 5% grade. The Tesla Semi can do 65 miles per hour on that same incline. With global operational potential, the Tesla Semi is more than just a US market solution. It's a platform that could scale into markets worldwide, including Europe. This is especially critical as freight demand continues to grow and cutting transport-related emissions becomes a top priority. Which feature of the Tesla Semi impresses you the most? Range, acceleration, or full self-driving technology? Drop your thoughts in the comments, we'll reply to the top ones. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.